reported violence against Asians has skyrocketed in our country. Um, I would like to be helpful in changing that because I think it's incredibly ignorant and it's, an, it's incredibly just hateful. And I, f I feel like we've had our fill of hate. I don't know if anybody else is with me on that, but how have you been dealing with this and how's your family been dealing with this? It's, it's definitely been really tough and exhausting, especially when you see it happen to people who are really close to you. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that, one, there is a, a group chat that I'm part of, of other Asian Americans that are we're yeah. really trying to help amplify this. And that's been great to have that support system. But also, um, seeing the world um, get up and, and having you do this segment and talk about it, it just means a lot to us and to our people and makes us feel safer. I know that um, it's helping get the awareness out also to other Asians that may mm -hmm. not even really um, a lot, like one of my, this one woman named uh, Linda Toe, her mother Nancy Toe was um, in New York and was attacked and uh, had her nose smashed in. And what? yeah, and so I reached out to her and um, became friends with her and was talking to her about it. And she was saying like, her, because her mother doesn't speak English, um, she wasn't even aware about these attacks against Asian Americans. So the fact that we're amplifying this, I know not only is bringing awareness to our allies and people that we need to help us amplify this message, but it's also putting out the word to um, other Asians in our country to say like, hey, you know, we're in danger right now. Be on the lookout. You know, make sure you're always you know, aware of your surroundings and, and be careful. Yeah. And uh, hate crimes against Asians have been going on for a long time as you know, the, the most intractable problems in our, our country are like gun violence, racism, and misogyny. You yeah. know, so like if you are part of a marginalized group um, in our country, you, know, you have experienced some sort of, of hate crime or racism and we're not safe right now. And that's the, that's the really scary thing. At first they were going after a lot of elderly Asians um, and, and, and the elderly Asian people, um, you know, it's my, my mother, my, grand, my grandparents who are no longer with us, but our generation's grandparents, they came to America and um, as immigrants, they really were conditioned to be quiet, keep their head down. Mm. So there's a lot of underreporting going on because they don't want to cause more waves. They don't want anyone to, to make a fuss over them. And also there's a huge language barrier. So when they want to go to the police station and report a lot of people don't know what they're saying. They can't understand. There's not somebody there that speaks yeah. their language. So a lot of underreporting goes on. So a lot of people didn't really know what was happening because so much underreporting. Yeah, um, people just happening. are afraid to even say anything. Yeah. So well, um, now we're talking about it and people know and, you know, President Biden has um, taken public stances um, against it. And um, that's been really meaningful for our people and a lot of other Asian people have gotten up and, and spoken about it and, mm. um, and also our allies and that's been really important. So that's why we've seen this like astronomical rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans. And so um, we do need help. I heard it was like over a thousand percent in some places. It was like 1900 percent increase in just a year in just the city of New York. <sighs> yeah. And then that's just 1900, almost 2000 percent increase in hate crimes. I mean, what? it's crazy. It's like, and, but, but right now there's so many people that are are, are aware of it now, we're amplifying that mm -hmm. message and getting more people like yourself to talk about it so that people know and that And if this you is see happening. this happening, like an obvious, if you see something like this happening, speak up. Like yeah. don't put yourself in danger by any means, but somebody else is in danger. So maybe yeah. look around and get other people to join you and being like, this is wrong. Right, and at, at the very least, um, something that's very important is report to get your- it. Report it. Yes, 100%. And also get your cameras out. Get your phones out. We all have cameras on our phones. Get your phones out. Start recording. That happened with my friend Sam. It was a bystander who watched what happened to his mother. And because we had these great pictures, we we're able to get the NYPD to put out wanted posters and then post that on social media. And then that guy was found and arrested. So we had pictures from a bystander. So if you're there and you're afraid to say something, because sometimes it is really scary. There's these really violent attacks And happening. people get in shock. People, 100%. people literally, I've heard people go in shock. They're like, I, I don't know why I didn't do, I just was in shock that it was happening. Yeah. So yeah. get out, if the least you can do is just get out your phone and record it. Want more fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool. I'm just saying, no pressure.